So we're in the Mississippi River Delta. We're about 75 miles or so southeast of New Orleans, and we're near Mardi Gras Pass. Mardi Gras Pass is a new distributary of the Mississippi River. Back in uh, 2011, when uh, the Mississippi River was at flood stage, the high river waters of the Mississippi River overtopped a natural levee, and what that did is it eroded away uh, an old road, and then the water was able to get through, uh, get downhill much quicker. And so a new channel, a new distributary channel was formed. What it's done is it's brought freshwater sediment out into these areas and it's built this sub delta behind me in just the last five or six years. What that's done is reestablished the natural processes of land building within the delta. See, we built levees here to keep the river restricted uh, and on its course. And Mardi Gras Pass was this, uh, this is the first time it really is short circuited, probably in the last 90 years or so. And it's been incredible just how much land has been built when we let the river uh, do what it needs to do. It's been incredible how quickly the river uh, has rebuilt these areas. And it's done it in a much more natural way than, than dredging ever could. That new land is forming because uh, the river water is coming through here and as it opens up into a bay, the river water slows down, sediment falls out to the bottom, then plants start to establish. And then you have this new sub delta behind us here that can support a wide, wide variety of plants and animals. So we're down in the Mississippi River Delta, we're near Myrtle Grove, Louisiana, now we're on the west bank of the river. And what's going on here is the, the levees of the Mississippi River combined with canal digging and natural sinking have uh, caused uh, a lot of land loss in this area. Because the, the river levees are in place, it prevents a natural overtopping of the riverbanks here. And so these uh, wetlands are, are starved from sediment and so they can't keep up with that natural sinking of the delta. And so you have these places where uh, the marsh is just, it's not just erosion from the shore, but it's its almost an unraveling of the marsh from the inside out where these, these marsh grasses just, they can't take the constant inundation between the, the sinking and a little bit of sea level rise on top of that. And so you're having these vast areas of marsh that are just kind of falling off. Just to the south of us behind Buras, Louisiana, NOAA had to take 31 place names off the nautical charts. Places like Dry Cypress Bayou, English Bay, Cyprian Bay, Pay Palm Door, they don't exist anymore. There's just no more there that's there anymore um, because all of that land has been lost. And there's just oyster poles that mark where those bodies used to flow. We are at what is going to be the outfall of the mid Barataria sediment diversion. And the mid Barataria sediment diversion is gonna cut through the river levee over here, just past this crane elevator. And there's gonna be a control structure with three or four different gates in it. Then uh, the water is going to come through a cement conveyance channel and it's going to come through the back levee and it's going to enter the Barataria Basin uh, through these shallow sunken marshes. And then that fresh water and sediment is going to spread out across the landscape and it's going to help keep up with the sinking that we're experiencing here. This was all marsh behind me at one point in time. Uh, the natural sinking, the being cut off from the Mississippi River and that annual replenishment of sediment, those natural processes that the river can afford us. Um, that's the only way this area is really going to be able to be restored. Uh, we just simply can't keep up uh, by dredging. There's just not enough money. There's not enough sediment available on sandbars. And so this will create a long lasting restoration solution for the area. The mid Barataria sediment diversion is going to be operated in a way that allows for the maximum amount of sediment to pass through and they're going to try and minimize the amount of water that comes through here, but it's gonna mimic natural processes, these natural spring floods that we used to receive every year that would fan out across the landscape and is what built South Louisiana in the first place.